हेलो डॉक्टर अंतर यस आर यू रेडी सर यस यस ओके 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 लेट्स वेट फॉर अनदर वन और टू मिनट लाइक द स्टूडेंट्स व्हेन जॉइन सो फार ओके वी विल लेट्स वेट फॉर एट लीस्ट टू मिनट्स देन वी विल स्टार्ट ओके सर फाइन सर Okay, let's start. Now, today the number of students will be less. Less, I guess. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, good morning to all, one and all present over this platform. Uh, I am Vijay Vehra, working as an academic consultant at Odisha State Open University. It's my pleasure to introduce our resource person today, who is going to talk to us about uh, interest group, pressure group, and lobbies in India. But before we start uh, uh, all this uh, topic. i would like to highlight some points on this uh, uh, topic in in the political system of every state uh, the political parties and interest group or pressure group together play a very weak role in political process while the role of political parties is direct and manifest the role of interest group or pressure group is indirect and quite latent uh, because uh, india is a democratic country and each and every person have the right to participate in the affairs of government Uh, whether it may be directly or indirectly, they participate in the affairs of government. Uh, interest group, also called a special interest group or pressure group, any association of individuals or organizations, usually formally organized, that on the basis of one or more share concern attempts to influence public policy uh, in their favor. And next thing is the pressure group, uh, can be described as an organized group. Pressure group are basically known as the uh, uh, as a Uh, organized group that does not put up candidates for election they never uh, uh, create an election to uh, elect or representative but seeks to influence government policy or legislation they can also be described as a interest group lobbies group or or, or protest group they are they are interchangeably used by different writers also so uh, please welcome our resource person dr uh, uh, antreyami bariha who is uh, working as an academic consultant at odisha state open university and also working as a counselor for master degree so please welcome uh, dr antrayami now i request our resource person uh, please take the session hello okay thank you uh, mr vijay vaira uh, thank you for your kind introduction of uh, of the topic uh, which i am going to teach today and the topic as you mentioned is the uh, interest group pressure group and lobbying Uh, basically uh, uh, the, the topic is like you know uh, it's from comparative politics issue and trends 
and PS4. You can, uh, you can, if, if you have the materials, like it's, it's come from the block six. Uh, in, in the previous class, we have discussed about the federalism pattern and structure. So today we'll discuss another topic, another unit of this topic, and uh, this is the Pessel group, interest group, and uh, lobby. So before going into details of uh, the Pessel group or interest group of lobbying, I want to I want to highlight some the main point which I want to cover up uh, in this class. Uh, we'll basically we'll basically discuss about the the brief introduction of brief nature of what is the Pessel group or what is the interest group. Then we'll uh, then we'll focus the uh, the different uh, classification of different authors like uh, Gabriel Armand, uh, Maurice Dovergeur, or Jen Blondel. So basically, uh, when you start from the pressure group, or when we try to understand the meaning of pressure group, we generally uh, thought about a different group in the society, right? So uh, for uh, to 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 to, uh, to justify this different group in the society. Arthur Bentley, on his process of government in 1908, in his book, he clearly mentioned that society is a mosaic of group, right? Society is a mosaic of group. In, it means in every society or in any society, if you go in developed country, underdeveloped country, developing country, or any any any, any society in the world or any uh, state in the world, you can find a different type of group exists in the society, right? So uh, the objective of the objective of different group is different. All the all the all the group have a different objective or different objective in their respective field. But at the same time, the, the mosaic of society is a mosaic of group means the, in, in a society there is a group of religion, there is a group of culture, there is a group of students, there is a group of farmers, there is a group of workers, there is a group of cultural uh, cultural cultural uh, cultural groups. So all all the members, all the all the all the members of the society form a different different group, and the objective to form the different group is they have they have a, they have a they have a certain goal and they have a certain objective to achieve through uh, through their group, and they want to uh, they want to pressurize the government, the political system, and different other institutions. So we'll discuss all this one by one. So before uh, before. Uh, uh, before, uh, before, like uh, we go to the details of uh, of, uh, of uh, interest group. First, let's try to understand what is interest group. Is. The interest group, like uh, the people of uh, the people, uh, the people having common interest. Uh, that are in society, there are different type of people. Okay, if a certain numbers of people or a certain numbers of individual having a position in the society. Have a common interest is called the interest group, right? Which means, if if there is a cell phone operator company in India, they have a group. Like you can say the Yatel companies, the Vodafone companies, the the the, uh, the Ideas company, and other different group. And also there is a uh, there is a other like you can say a BSNL is a like group. They are there to impose. They have a they have a self they have a self interest. They want to uh, achieve that interest through uh, through pressurize the political system, through uh, through through contact with the political system, through engage with the political system, through engage with the political parties, through engage with the political institution. At the same time, the uh, the automobiles manufacturing in USA, right? The auto or the automobile manufacturing in USA have the same uh, type of or group, same type of uh, uh, same type of platform, like. In automobiles company in USA or automobiles company in Germany, for example, in Germany there are different type of automobiles company like you can say Benz, Mercedes, uh, BMW, Audi. So different type of groups are there. So when the when that particular group and that particular set of people uh, form a group and if they demand or a particular set of uh, particular set of demand to the political system to the government or to the political system and if they achieve their political system if they achieve their goal or achieve their objective it's called interest group the group basically is a group formed by a set of set of set of set of individual is a form of is a form by the set of uh, set of people who have a who have a specific objective to gain who have a specific goal to achieve right so this type of this type of group is called the interest group. Now Gabriel Almond and Sidney Bhava, they they basically 
they, they basically uh, elaborate or they basically describe the concept of interest group in a broader level. They argue that the process by which individual and groups make demand upon the political decisions maker, we call interest articulation. This demand may be temporary in nature, like demonstration, worldwide asking demonstrations, like like uh, he, like uh, Gabriel R. Mondes, you have uh, argues that. The process by which individual, the process of the individual man, but the process through the individual man, the political system, the political system, the process, or different, different genius, different, different expert, articulate, or the government, the political system, the interest group, or the government, the government, the 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 in in the USA or in, in Germany or in India or anywhere in the world, if a, if a particular set of group is articulate the articulate the idea and they pressurize the for example USA for example the people of USA or the set of group of in USA have a demand or have a claim or have a, like they request the state government not to engage war with Afghanistan or war in Iraq. So because the interest of that particular group or interest of a particular group in the USA is like they don't want to lose their soldier. They don't want to lose their people. They don't want to lose their soldier. For example, USA is like engaged in US, USA is engaged in Afghanistan and Iraq for the different or so many types of war. So the all the all the soldier group or the soldier community or soldier wives community, they, they have been pressurized to the US government not to engage war in US. So not to engage war in Iraq or Afghanistan. So this type of this type of active or this type of objective or this type of goal of a particular community or particular group is called interest interest group. It's called they, they have a, they have a set of idea. They have a set of uh, notion to protect their soldier, to protect their individual, to protect their citizen, to protect their people. Because if USA is engaged with engage war in Afghanistan or in Iraq. Then directly they lose their soldiers, directly they lose their citizen. So the so the group of so the group of soldiers or group of uh, citizens in the U.S. demand not to engage war in U.S. So this type of this type of group, they have a particular set, they have a set of idea, they have a set of objective, they have a set of interest. So this type of group is called interest group. Same this in same way, Hitchner and Levine before that. The interest group, they, uh, they said that an interest group is a collection of ideas who try to realize their common objective by influencing the public policy. Like Hitchner and Levine argues that the interest group is a set of individuals, a collection of individuals, is a collection of uh, collection of individual collection of individuals with a specific objective, with a specific idea, with a broader in the broader concept. It means uh, the the, the 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 individual who are member of a particular group or the individual who are actively involved in a particular group they have a set of idea they have a set of objective through which that objective the idea or that objective need to be fulfilled to the to that group by 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 in order to by, in order to achieve that group they they pressurize to the public policy they pressurize to the system to know you should you should you should not go for that particular policy you should go for that particular policy if you go to that particular policy that would achieve our interest that would achieve our demand that would achieve our objective if you go to that particular policy then we are not getting anything from that policy or we are not getting thing, getting anything from that law so that set of collection of individual who have a set of idea who has a set of objective and that objective need to be fulfilled this type of group is called as interest group or interest interest group or interest people. Now, let's try to understand what is pressure group. The pressure group is a group who don't want to be part of the political system. They want to. They don't want to be. They don't want to be rule the government. They don't want to be uh, in the power. Right? They have a. They have a. Uh, they have a different object objective. They have a different goal. Like here, the Maurice Dover argue that most pressure group are non-political organizations, and pressure politics is not primary uh, primary uh, primary activity. 
Any group association or organizations, even those whose normal concern are formed from politics, can act as pressure group in certain area under certain circumstances. Like, Maurice de Hojoy argues that can it be considered pressure group objective? That prothom objective political power or political rule kuriwa not hai. Political power or political system rule kuriwa not hai. That prothom objective is that je se pressure group, se pressure group mana kichi taro kichi taro demand ko kichi taro kichi taro interest ko fulfill kuriwa pain government ko ba political system ko pressure kuri pain. कैडम मोरिस्ट हो जो कहो जानते हैं मोरिस्ट हो जो जे की पॉलिटिकल पार्टी ऊपर ही वोट काम कर जानते हैं पॉलिटिकल पार्टी इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम इन द वर्ल्ड से कहो जानते हैं जे पेशल ग्रुप रो रोल पेशल ग्रुप रो ऑब्जेक्टिव पेशल ग्रुप रो गोल से केबी भी तारो पॉलिटिकल पावर गेन करबा जे नथाय पॉलिटिकल पावर से गेन करबा पे केबी भी चाहो नथाय रादर से कोनो चाहे रादर से चाहे जे जो भी पॉलिटिकल ऑब्जेक्टिव बा जो भी पॉलिटिकल पॉलिसी हो ची बहुत पॉलिसी हो ची ताकि इंप्लीमेंट करवा पाएं चाहे हो जाला तो आप उठे ऑथर को जानते हैं अनादर राइटर बियो बियो केस वाज ही आईक्यूज दैट ही आईक्यूज दैट इंटरेस्ट ग्रुप्स और सच प्राइवेट ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस वर एस्टेब्लिश्ड इन एस्टेब्लिश्ड टू इंफ्लुएंस द पब्लिक पॉलि� जे कि आउट स्कॉलर से कहो जानते जे इंटरेस्ट ग्रुप ऑफ पॉलिटिकल पेशल ग्रुप गुड प्राइवेट ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस लाइक दे द प्राइवेट ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस इन द सेंस दे आर नॉट एंगेज विद द पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम राइट सो दे आर प्राइवेटली वर्क दे आर द इंडिपेंडेंट ग्रुप दे आर द इंडिपेंडेंट बॉडी और दे ट्राई टू दे ट्राई टू एस्टैब्लिश टू इन्फ्लुएंस द पब्लिक पॉलिसी सिंधा का रोल कनाला सिंधा का रोल हला जिन पॉलिटिकल पार्टी रूल करूं तो बस स्टेट रे गवर्नमेंट रे से पॉलिटिकल पार्टी ऊपर प्रेसराइज कर दे किन्तु प्रेसराइज कर दे से पॉलिटिकल पार्टी ऊपर है मन कर आम बहुत पॉलिटिकल आम बहुत पॉलिटिकल इंडिया फॉर एग्जांपल इंडिया के कॉन्टेक्स्ट में यों इंडिया तीन तेल आम पॉलिटिकल पॉल to demand certain uh, objective or to demand certain uh, different uh, different type of goal, if a set of group or a pressure group try to influence that political party and ask them you should have to form that particular policy. For example, if a, for example, if you go to a farmers uh, like a farmer uh, in in Maharashtra or in Rajasthan or in or in Odisha or in Uttar Pradesh or in Bihar. So farmers are the pressure group. You can use farmers as a pressure group. Like farmers demand, the government should provide it. Uh, the government should provide uh, the subsidies, land, uh, farmers subsidies to the farmers. And the farmers demand, the government should release the money uh, on in terms of the subsidies, in terms of the subsidies to fertilizer, subsidies to technology, and subsidies to other 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 instrument to farmers. So that type of uh, that type of uh, that type of group uh, uh, influence the uh, influence the political system, influence the political party. So you have to give the subsidy to the farmers. If you give subsidy to farmers for that particular uh, expect, then the farmers will get benefit. So this is the, this is a simple example of a of a farmers who of a farmers group or a farmers as a pressure group. To bargain or to influence the political system, the bargains or influence to the political party in India or in any world, in any country in the world, to gain that to to get their objective, right? So all this uh, this type of uh, this type of political uh, this type of pressure group is he have a uh, strong influence or he has a strong bargain capability to the political system or to the political party to gain their objective. Another uh, another scholar I would say I would mention S. C. Finner. Uh, it's a United uh, it's an American scholar. He argues that uh, he strongly argues that the pressure group are by and large autonomous and politically neutral bodies, which bargain with political party and bureaucracy irrespective of political complexions of government in power. S. C. Finner is an American scholar. He strongly argues that. The pressure group is the autonomous body. Like there is no uh, nobody is controlling the pressure group. 
the pressure group is like uh, auto autonomously work in the system autonomously work in the uh, in, in, in 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 any form of government or any form of society in any form of states nobody have uh, nobody have controlling the pressure uh, group but there are some states like uh, in france or italy in italy or in so, uh, in, in russia or in china the pressure groups are controlled by the by the system by the political party but we'll discuss it later on when we uh, go to the classification of the of the pressure group or the classification of the different scholar but for the time being try to understand how scfino argues that the pressure group are the autonomous autonomous body the pressure group are the autonomous body and they are bargaining with the political parties they are bargaining with the bureaucracy they are bargaining with the, the system the power how they are bargaining with the bureaucracy for example uh, when you are when we are asking about the bargaining of bargaining with the bureaucracy we are, we are discussing about the bargaining with the bureaucracy which means which broader means is like let's let's have let's have a let's have a let's take an example small example when we are when we are in, in a district level we can say in a district level or in a state level when we are when 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 the students or when the farmers or when there is a uh, set of cultural groups they uh, they are banned or if they are not function they are uh, not perform their not perform to do their function then they bargain with the bureaucracy then they bargain with the with our district collectors or with our state uh, state missionaries different state missionaries so that type of that type of uh, bargaining capability of a group or that type of bargaining capability of a pressure group is called uh, is 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 like uh, is like bargaining of the bargaining to the bureaucracy so the, the the bargaining uh, the bargaining with the bureaucracy or the bargaining with the political power or political system or pressure group is different like the bargaining with the political uh, bargaining with the political power of the pressure group is like it would be like for uh, for the content for a for a short period of time or for a long period of time for example if there is a uh, if there is a movement if there is a long movement going on in india or in any anywhere in the world for example uh, there is a movement of uh, there is there is a movement of um, uh, of 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 narmada bachao angalon right so the last number of people uh, last number of uh, last number of group of people under the leadership of different political different social activists they are fighting with the uh, with the with the, the madhya pradesh government so the objective is to not to rehabilitate or not to uh not to uh, send the uh, send the indigenous people from one place to another place so that type of form or that type of that type of group is also work as a special group to the uh special group for the for the society uh uh bujela uh, uh, so this type of special group or this type of uh, this type of interest group somehow have a strong influence or have a strong bargain with the bureaucracy through who is they can get their they can they can achieve their goal they can they can they can reach to their objective so so there are there are uh, there are other there are other scholar like uh, yeah, there are other scholar like uh, h jingler there are other scholar like h jingler he argued that uh, uh, he argues that in an organized aggregate we seek to influence the context of governmental decision without attempting to place its member in formal governmental capabilities so here was that the 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 the, uh, the pressure group somehow or some way they are like uh, organized way they work as organized way or they also work as unorganized way if they work as organized way which means they have a uh, they have a, they have, a, they have in, in within the group they have a certain uh, certain certain like they have some uh, secretary or they have some president or they have some they have some uh, like uh, different type of uh, different type of post created in the group that means that group or that particular uh, uh, that particular individual can only be uh, repre represent to the uh, to the political system or to the any movement through which they can get or achieve their objective but but there are also unorganized organ organized group like their random leader people will come for the one single objective and they and they, they they demand to the political system and they demand to the political party and they demand to the bureaucracy and they bargain with the bureaucracy to achieve their objective to gain their goal to achieve their set of objective to achieve their particular objective now 
interest group, then pressure group, then another group is like mass and traditional group. The mass and traditional group are two, two different group, two important different group. The mass group is like, for example, the student groups. Student are the mass group. The, if the students uh, all over all over India, the all over world, there is a student group. For example, let's let's have a discussion. Let's have a uh, take. Let's take an example. Like, if you if you remember, there is a, recently there is a um, there is a student Indian Indian Medical Student Association. They protest for the against the government for the fees hike. They start from the Uttarakhand and start from Himachal Pradesh. And it reached to the all over India in the all over India. It reached to the Delhi, it reached to the Mumbai, it reached to the Odisha, and it reached to any all part of India. Which means students are the mass mass people. It's, it's num the students number are large in India or large in any part of the world. Same same way the farmers. If if the government of any state, for example, the government of Odisha is not fulfill the demand of of the farmers. Then they will they will start or they will come they will they will start protest in the in the road in the road, and if if the farmers of a state is uh, exploited by the government or by the system, then the whole the farmers of all over India will start protesting as the government system. So this type of group or this type of organ this type of uh, special group is called the mass special group, right? There's a, that objective. That objective is one. That objective is simple. That objective is again, again there to achieve that goal, and and the numbers are large. The numbers are so vast. Like as I mentioned, the students' association, or as I mentioned, the farmer association. Same way, there is a workers' association. Like there is a uh, labor association, the labor organizations. You you, you can see this time. This time, the large number of labor. Now the situation is different. The last number of labor are migrating from one place to another place in India. The labor are migrating from uh, from Punjab to Odisha, from UP to uh, Odisha, from from Bangalore to Odisha, from Delhi to Bihar, from Delhi to Jharkhand, or from Delhi to Chhattisgarh. So they when they when they are working in a particular place, for example, they are working in a factory or they they are working in a any anywhere in the in India. What they are doing? They are doing like uh, they they, uh, they they form a organize, they form a group, they form a pressure pressure institution, they form a pressure group, and they demand and they de and and they demand to achieve that goal to the to the uh, to the to, to the to the owner or to the to the uh, to the to the uh, to the officers of that particular uh, particular uh, uh, factory. For example, the workers are working in a factory and. If the workers are not getting proper wage, then the whole workers set a pressure group, like develop a form a pressure group, and that pressure group work to achieve their goal, work to achieve their objective. Right? This type of form, this type of group are the mass pressure group, are the mass pressure uh, pressure 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 uh, group. Now, what is the traditional group? The traditional group are the group they have a set of Idea with highly elite group. Elite, you can say elite group. The elite group are like they have a. Uh, they, they are like uh, most of the people are like retired bureaucrats, retired uh, IS officer, retired IPS officer, retired militant officer, and uh, uh, and 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 the and, and the particularly they have a big big club, you know. It means, uh, for example, in India also there is a big, big, big club, that Royal Club or Rotary Club or different, different club. The members of that club are the are the are the elite people. The the members of the club are the renowned uh, bureaucrats or renowned IS officer or renowned military officer. So, so the the objective of that group, the objective of that uh, particular uh, special group, is like to pressurize the government to object to gain their benefit. To, to fulfill their objective, to fulfill their goal, right? So this is the difference between mass and traditional uh, group, mass and traditional uh, uh, form of group. Now, we will start to understand what is interest, how interest group, personal group and political party are different, right? The, as I mentioned in my previous, and as I mentioned in the previous uh, talk, yeah, like few minutes talk, the interest group have a have a set of interest. They would try to achieve that interest. The pressure group 
had a set of objective to pressurize the political system or pressurize the political uh, ruling political party to uh, to bargain with the ruling political party for a public policy for the good public policy or good law or good policy for the society or for the whole state of of of, of any uh, of any any country so now we are we try to understand what is interest group is different from political party and pressure group like the pressure group they don't have any interest in the political party they don't want to be in legislative power they don't want to form or they don't want to sit in the lok sabha or rajya sabha or any uh, 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 any big post but rather they have a strong negation or they have a strong bargain with the legislator like the, we have a that the person group have a strongly strongly bargain to the to our member of parliament or to our legislative assembly people the the objective to uh, the objective to uh, to to bargain to the mem member of parliament or any uh, legislative assembly or legislative member is to gain or is to provide a good sense of policy through which the maximum number of citizens should get benefit out of this right so the pressure group they don't have any interest to uh, any interest to in political party in political power at the same time they have a strongly strongly uh, strongly um, strongly um, uh, criticize the political system bargain with the political system through which they can get a better result and a good pol a good policy for their uh, citizen right so here because in 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 a state or in a society we we generally found the homogeneous type of group the homogeneous type of people they have a homogeneous they have a group and they and they and their interest is like same and their objective is like same like like for for example a cultural group take example a cultural group the objective of cultural group is like to gain a certain type of advantage from the political system from a political parties for example a cultural group develop a temple that is a cultural group you can say uh, yeah, you can say the ram temple the ram uh, the, the demand to form the ram temple for example take the bajrang dollar for sipsana or for uh, any other cultural group their objective was simple their objective was to form the ram mandir in ayodhya right so that type of homogeneous group or that type of cultural group they have a strong influence in in the political party like they have a strong influence or they have a strong bargain with the bjp government in in india in like have a strong bargain with the bjp government and now the supreme court has declared the justice that they have they provide the justice to uh, to, uh, to to build the ram temple in ayodhya so this type of cultural group have a strong strong opinion of a strong uh, 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 strong uh, bargain with the with the political system through which they can get or achieve their objective right so another scholar like harold r bros harold r bros argues that political parties persons group are in a singular positions of being independent of them also cooperative with them as given situation by my indicate Pressure group are normally not partisan in character. They disregard party line. They seek popular support among the voters, so support members, legislative body, and executive authorities. Now, now we try to understand a different form. Like uh, Robert R. Bros argues that pressure group are in a secular, similar position with independent political party. Like pressure group and political party are working together. Bros argues that. political party and pressure group are working together for the objective for the same objective <coughs> like like i can mention in this uh, now uh, i mention in this yellow example as for example the bajrang dal the uh, the sipsana people and other religious group are working with the bjp they are they are, they are working with the bjp in terms of in terms of their when there was election when there is election they they uh, they they campaigning for the political party they uh, they uh, they they go for a political campaign to the different part of the different part of india and now they are the as because they are working corporately as because they are working uh, uh, working together now they got their now they achieve their objective of form or develop or build the ram temple in 
in Ayodhya. So this type of group, this type of political press, this type of pressure group, they don't want to be power. They don't want to rule the state. They don't want to uh, in in a position to uh, in a position to make policy. But rather they work with the political party through they achieve their goal through they achieve their objective. This this is the political this is the difference of political parties and a pressure group, right? Similarly, Modest Dehojar again argues that certain powerful groups actually have their own representatives in government and legislative body. But the relationship between this individual and the groups they represent remains secret and circumspect. Modest Dehojar argues that, uh, like, there are so many pressure groups, or there are so many different uh, pressure groups who have to strongly, strongly, uh, uh, strongly associate with the political party. Yes, but that politic that, that the member of that pressure group are not in the political, uh, not in the political position, or not in the political power. But they have alliance. But they have a they have a sense of uh, they have a sense of working together, right? So this type of political this type of pressure group have a different type of objective. Uh, they don't want to be in power. But they want to associate, or they want to work with the political party. They want to work with the ruling political parties through the through which they can achieve their objective. Right? The relations, like in in different in the world, the 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 natural the natural pressure group is different. For example, if you go to the USA and Britain, the natural the natural pressure group is different. The natural person group is different, right? They articulate the in, they articulate the interest of the people. They articulate the different problem or different idea of the different people, and they try to re, they try to uh, they try to uh, they try to transmit that idea. Or they try to uh, they try to um, uh, develop that idea. Or they try to send that idea to the to the legislator or to the uh, to the to the to the political system of a state. In the USA, the same thing. In the USA, the, the pressure group generally what they do, they do they articulate the interest, they articulate the uh, different problems of the people, and they they uh, and they try to communicate it to the interest uh, interest aggregation uh, people. The interest articulations are the pressure group. The interest articulations are the other different pressure group. They 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 uh, in in society there are different problems is there. In society, there is different, a uh, different type of, uh, different type of, uh, different type of, uh, what you can say, different type of problems, or you can dif different groups or different persons do have different problems. For for example, students, uh, student group have a different type of problem. Farmers have a different type of problem. Workers have a different type of problems. Trade union have a different types of problem. The industrial people have a different type of uh, problems. So the inter the role of interest group or the role of person group is to articulate that. Is to gather the information from that particular group. Once they gather the information, so once they once they get all the diff, all the different aspect of, of of different pressure group, what they will do? They will they will they will compile it and they will send to the uh, send to the political system. They will transmit to the political system. They will transmit to the legislature or the Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha, the lower house or the upper house. In 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 US and Britain, they transmit the uh, they transmit the uh, problems or they transmit the articulated problems to the Senate or the uh, the House of Representatives. And in and in and in and in Britain, and in Britain they uh, transmit the problem to the uh, House of Lords or House of Commons. The objective was that the pressure group. It, it is impossible for the government staying in the system to look at the, all the problems, right? So it is the it is the role of a pressure group. To look at the different type of problem exist in the society, exist in the state, and try to articulate it, and try to assemble it, and then you can send to the, and then you can uh, transfer to the political system. Once the political system gets all this information, then he can try to develop or form a good policy, or try to develop a sense of uh, great policy through which the citizen or the people of a state get benefit out of it, right? So similarly, in France and Italy, as I mentioned in the uh, in my previous example, in France, Italy, Russia, and China, 
the 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 political parties the ruling political parties work with the pressure group for example <clears throat> for example a socialist group in russia or in china they work with the trade union they work with the workers uh, pressure group they work with the uh, other uh, uh, business uh, partners business group because they work with the trade union or work with that uh, press, uh, work with the uh, uh, with other uh, um, industrial group or work with the workers group the objective is they don't want to they don't want to reveal their problem with the with the with the world right so particularly that political parties or that political parties generally try to uh, try to try to negotiate or try to nexus with the professor group through which they can they can somehow dominate their problems or somehow uh, suppress their policy suppress their uh, problems or suppress their uh, uh, problems not to not to come out in the mainstream society in the world or in the state right so this is the this is the different uh, this is the different type of uh, political system and pressure group in developed country now when we are talking about the developing country or the third world country for example asia latin america africa or any other um, any other uh, uh, different any any, dif any third world country who got independence in uh, 1947 or 1950s in the early 1950s they have a different set of pressure group right they, their pressure group are basically form on the basis of race, form on the basis of religion, form on the basis of cultural group, form on the basis of caste, form on the basis of other different uh, other different aspect of of that society. So, for example, take a take a take a case of India. In India, the pressure groups are formed on the basis of caste. The pressure groups are formed on the basis of religion. The pressure groups are formed on the basis of culture right in india when you are talking about pressure group the in india the pressure group for example as i mentioned the sipsana the bajrang dal the rss they are work as a pressure group they are uh, they form on the basis of religion they form on the basis of like hindu mahasabha right the hindu mahasabha is formed on the uh, the group are the base on the religion right there is, there is a dalit group they they form the basis of the caste so all these, all these group and all these um, um, uh, pressure groups are based on the based or form on the basis of their identity, and their objective was the and their objective is sorry the, and their objective is to get their uh, get the benefit for their community or to get the benefit for the religion group or get the benefit of their cultural group, right? And what they what they will do. They will bargain with the political system. For example, take take example like there is a there is a there is a political party or there is a pressure group of Bhim Army, right? In in uh, in in in, in Uttar Pradesh, and the and the leader of the Bhim Army is Chandrasekhar. So now the Bhim Army is working as a pressure group to pressurize the Yogi Adityanath government to work for the Dalit. To work for the Dalit community of Uttar Pradesh, they have a strongly bargain or strongly uh, influence the uh, influence the uh, political system or the government of uh, Chief Minister to to stop the to stop the women women work in the sewage, like to stop the uh, to stop use the human. To to clean the uh, clean the sewage in in Uttar Pradesh or in any other part of India, so that type of group is formed on the basis of caste. It's like and demand or, or bargain with the government to stop a particular set of thing, because that that pressure group don't think that women should work or women should engage with that particular work is not good for the society. They think that they have equal right to to study or to uh, to job to employ in a different office to employ in a different organizations, right? As the same as the same example, there is a Hindu Mahasabha in uh, in in different part of India, and what they are doing, they are doing they have a strong Hindu Hindu ideology, and they have negotiated with the uh, with the with the government. 
they are their alliance with the government they are nexus with the government they are working for their for their objective they are working for the, for the idea of hindutva so this type of this type of group or this type of uh, person group in, in in india are working to get the or to achieve the objective of a particular set of group right so this is the this is the difference between interest group person group and political party now now we'll discuss about the classification of pressure group right what are the classification of pressure group we'll discuss about three main scholar of of political science who discuss about the pressure group who discuss about the different type of pressure group exist or exist in the exist in the world like we will first discuss about the uh, gabriel a almond classification of pressure group gabriel a almond talks about four type of pressure groups that exist in the in the society or exist in exist in a state the first is associational uh, associational uh, pressure group the associational pressure group they have a set of they have a, they have a proper form they have they have a proper form like they have a uh, the, the the group is registered by the by the government the group have a uh, president the group have a secretary the group have a uh, certain number of people the group have a particular set of objective so these so associational group they 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 they, they will work for uh, to achieve the objective of that group right which means which means all the group all the group members are all the group members have a specific uh, all the group members have a clear objective to uh, clear objective to achieve clear objective to gain we can say the businessmen we can say the workers we can say the student union we can say the uh, professional uh, uh, professional professional uh, uh, professional people these are the associational group these are the associational uh, pressure group they have a certain certain objective for example professional group who are the professional groups like the teachers are the professional groups the the doctors are the professional groups the ias officers are the professional groups the ips officers are the professional groups right and the teach, the teachers happy 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 the teachers for example in, in odisha or you can go anywhere in the world you can you can you can find that the teachers are one of the most uh, one of the most professional group who victimize in a different way like they are paying less salary they have over burden of work they are involved in different type of other activities so the what the teachers groups will do they will fight with the government they will they will they will they will they will, they will bargain with the system they will bargain with the political system they they ask them no this this set of work we don't want to do that and if you if you go to do that then you will, you have to increase our salary we have to we have to we have to uh, give give us more salary through which we can perform our work for example the doctors the doctors are the professional group they are they are so they are so professional group if they will stop one day working in in the contemporary time the whole uh, the whole health system will be collapsed so that type of professional group so that type of professional groups who work hard or work hard or bargain with the political system through which they can get our objective they can achieve their objective there are also the the second the second type of uh, uh, group is the non associational group the non associational groups are the traditional set of groups right the traditional set of groups uh the traditional set of groups they are basically the tribal groups they they, they are the religious groups they are the caste groups they are uh, they are uh, they are there there are other different traditional set of uh, set of people their objective was also uh, uh, respectively depend on their interest but they don't have any they don't have any proper uh, proper system they don't have any proper uh, uh, president or secretary or kc or any other uh, uh, any other uh, any other government but at the same time their objective have a different uh, their, their objective is to achieve their their objective is to achieve their goal like for example there is a cultural group or for example there is a travel group the travel group if the travel group uh, with the travel people are exploited by the uh, 
and different other uh, uh, other uh, other other organizations and the travel group try to protect their culture they try to protect their uh, protect their norms they try to protect their tradition through which they they will fight for that particular group that's why they will try to bargain with the political system to stop the different type of influence on them right so there are the next uh, the next uh, uh, group is the institutional group the institutional groups are those groups who is like uh, 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 uh that are like uh, um, uh, judiciary uh, the uh, you can say the lawyers uh, bureaucracy that also come under the institutional group their objective is uh, their objective or their uh, uh, their goal is also uh, also uh, also different for example if a, if the judiciary uh, if the judiciary uh, systems will fight with the government uh, fight with the government to uh, to not to certain extent Uh, pressurized to uh, to provide a justice which is not supposed to give. If you if you remember recently, uh, the the four judges of Supreme Court or the or the whole uh, judicial systems were fight against uh, for the uh, for the political system to not to pressurize the judiciary form uh, to perform on to perform on ethical way. Right. It means the judiciary is a strong institution uh, in in India. Or in any anywhere in the world, they have a strong bargain with the uh, bargain with the political system. They have a strong, uh, strong uh, role to bargain with the political systems, right? Now the last uh, classification of uh, Maurice Rohwajar is um, uh, is the anomic group, anomic pressure group, anomic pressure group. The anomic pressure group are the group uh, basically they somehow try to. Uh, try to different, try to adopt a different type of uh, different type of way, different type of road to achieve the achieve their objective. For example, militant group, right? The Nuxlite group, or you can say other different group. What they have done, they have they have achieved different type of uh, they they have achieved different type of path or different type of uh, road to uh, to achieve their objective, right? So this type of group is called as the anomic group. Now. Now, the Jean Blondel classifications of pressure group. He talk about the two type of person. He talk about two type of pressure group. One is community pressure group, and second is associational pressure group. Now, what is community pressure group? The community pressure group is that group who have a strongly, who have a strongly influenced or strongly believe to achieve the interest of a particular community. Right. For example, when we are talking about community group, if you remember the OBC, the other backward classes are like they have a uh, th when they are getting their reservations in the in the different different uh, different uh, different form in Indian political Indian institution, then the Yadavs, the Jatavs, and other community are demand. For the Patels in uh, Patels in uh, Gujarat, they demand to associate or to uh, to consider them as the OBC, right? So this is the this is the this is the community group. This is the community pressure group. They try to pressurize the government in a different form to <coughs> to objective the to gain or to achieve the objective of the community, right? There are the second is the associational group. The associational groups are those groups, as I mentioned in the uh, in the in the in the uh, in the uh, in the almond uh, plus al almond uh, uh, almond associational group. It's like similar. The associational groups are try to uh, promote the promote the interest of that particular group, right? They try to uh, promote the interest of that particular group in the sense, um, uh, in every associational groups like they have a uh, the associational groups as the uh, uh, as the Alman talks about different type of uh, professional groups or different type of uh, farmers farmers professor group or students group. They are associate they are association. They have a set of institution. They have a set of uh, proper functioning system. So they try to protect the. They try to promote or they try to protect their. 
interest in terms of interest and in terms of gain their objective right now the more is the classification of uh, pressure group the more is the classification of pressure group basically it talks about two type of uh, pressure group two type of uh, two type of uh, uh, pressure group the first is the uh, the first is the uh, protective pressure group sorry the first is the exclusive pressure group and second is the partial pressure group the exclusive pressure groups are those groups the exclusive pressure groups are those groups uh, 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 they, they, they try to lobby they try to lobby with the uh, with the with the with the with the, uh, with the with the government or with the political systems we will discuss to what is the lobby and how what is the techniques of lobby of pressure group just just in few minutes now the exclusive pressure group or exclusive uh, the role of exclusive pressure group is different in a different part of uh, in a different part of world the ex the exclusive pressure groups in britain and india is different the exclusive pressure groups are like are like uh, they try to lobby with the lobby with the political system they, the, what is now what is the lobby in the political system means they try to lobby means they they try to influence the political parties in terms of we will do that or we will not do that means they try to lobby for example doctors association right doctors pressure group they they try to lobby with the government what they will lobby they will lobby if you fulfill our demand then we will work for another 10 hours more or maybe 14 hours more if you don't fulfill our demand we will not going to work for another five hours so that type of process that type of bargaining process is called lobby right next the second is the partial group the partial groups the partial groups are have the same objective like the Jean Blondel argues there the partial group, the, what they will do, for example, in the UK or in India, there is a different professional group who try to lobby with the system, who try to lobby with the political party, uh, the ruling political party. So what the partial group will do, the, the partial group will protect the interest of that particular group, protect the interest of the group, interest of that particular uh, professional groups. Now, what is the interest of the party professional groups as i mentioned the doctor groups now we can also mention the the police uh, the police institution like right the police are working so hard in this day if the police are not getting rest for the for the six or ten or eight hours they can't work further so what the what the police uh, police as a pressure group work with uh, they will work or they have a certain objective it means they they, they, they they bargain or they lobby with the uh, they lobby with the uh, government. We can't uh, we can't afford to work for more than ten hours or more than uh, six uh, more than twelve hours, and and to to do that they will they will demand for a certain uh, certain thing, and they will demand a certain thing means they will they will ask for more remuneration. They will ask for uh, they will ask for incentives they will ask for different other things you can find in any different organizations also you can find in any uh, b b big industry also the big industry in the big industry what they will do the workers are working uh, extra time if they will get more money if they will get more salary so they will protect their interest the parcel group basically protect their interest if they will get more salary then they can do something else so they can work for more than uh, more than eight hours and they get maximum interest if they get maximum profit out of that so these these classifications of peso group justify that the pesos group have an important role in the political system to achieve that goal to achieve their objective right now we'll discuss about the lobby the techniques of pressure group. What are the techniques the pressure group adopt to fulfill their objective, to, to achieve their goal, to achieve their uh, objective, right? 
we discuss about what is interest group, what is pressure group, what is difference between interest group, pressure group, and political party, and the classification of uh, uh, classifications of Gabriel Armand, Jean Blondel, or uh, Moses Dobberger. Now we will discuss about the techniques of pressure group, how they use the techniques, what are the techniques they use to, to, to fulfill their objective, to fulfill their uh, goal. The first technique is lobbying. As I mentioned in the, in the earlier to you, the first technique is lobbying. The lobby is simple, like the government or the political party, sorry, the, the pressure group have a strongly lobby with the political system or with the political party. Lobby in a different form. Lobby, for example, a pressure group is working with the political party. If the political party will not fulfill their demand, they will, they will not maybe uh, might be uh, associated with that political party or for for for, for instance for the matter of uh, for the for instance they will not uh, strongly involve when there is a when there is a uh, when there is a election uh, going on for the for the for the uh, for the uh, for the campaigning or anything else so they will lobby with the political parties the person group will lobby with the political party if you demand a certain uh, certain thing if you if you fulfill a certain thing after the after you win then we'll go with you. Then we'll participate with you. Then we'll uh, then we'll campaigning for you, right? If they will not, if they will not, uh, uh, if they will not consider their uh, uh, consider their consider their uh, 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 consider their point, then they will not come. They will not come and work with the political party to uh, to uh, to provide uh, uh, to provide support to that political party, right? So this type of uh, this type of uh, this type of uh, uh, instrument or this type of technique is called lobby. Next is strike. As you know, strike is the most important, uh, uh, most important techniques or instrument for a pressure group to achieve their goal, to to reach their objective, to reach to find out their uh, to their uh, goal. Uh, you, you you see that the students are uh, the students are protesting in the different university in the in India in recent in recent time. Just because they have a fees high, they have a, a different restriction to the they have, they have different restriction put into the uh, to the uh, to the students union or to the students of a different university through which they are bound to uh, they are bound to protest or they are bound to fight, strike against the uh, strike, strike against the um, the system or strike against the um, university uh, institution. <coughs> so <coughs> so. The students are protest or the students are strike to get achieve their objective. You can also take the example of farmers. The farmers in Maharashtra, the farmers in Haryana, the farmers in uh, Uttar Pradesh, the farmers in Rajasthan, are, are, and Madhya Pradesh, they are protesting against the government or they are protesting against the institution. They are all pressure group. They are protesting against the government to get the subsidy. They are protesting against the government to get their crop insurance. They are protesting against the government to get their uh, get their right price of their crops. So these all are the what these all are worked or these all are function as a pressure group uh, to fight against to, to to fight with the government to pressurize with the government to get or achieve their objective. Right. So this process is called strike. Like they are they are they are protesting in the roads. They are protesting in the NH, the students are protesting in the universities, the cities. That type of uh, that type of concept or that type of notion is called strike, which they can they can they can they can achieve their objective. They can they can uh, they can reach their goal. Right. Now the third point is bond. Bond like is the close. Right. Am I? When we are talking about Bharat bond or when we are talking about um, whole India strike, then which means uh, the, for one day or two days or for three days, the whole, uh, the whole India or the whole state of a particular state is like shut down, it's like closed down. Not a single shop, not a single vehicles, not a single uh, office will open. 
which means that means what that means if we are closed all the government institution all the all the shops of necessary atoms all the roads all the energy of uh, any state all the railways uh, uh, train which means is directly impact the government is directly impact the uh, impact the political uh, system of the government which means if 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 there is a one day closure of india which means there is a crore of crore money uh, will going to loss for government that means this is the right process of a of a pressure group to pressurize the political system to achieve their objective right this is the right way for a, any political pressure group or any pressure group like sometimes the farmers uh, farmers declare bharat bond sometimes the students uh, uh, union declare bharat bond sometimes the trade union declare bharat bonds sometimes the uh, the workers of the uh, of a country declares bharat bond so basically all the all the pressure group declare uh, declare that uh, or ask the bharat bond or any type of bond instrument is provide a sense of get opportunity for that particular group to achieve their objective right there there may be a different objective the farmers have a different objective the students have a different objective the workers have a different objective the the industrial workers have a different objective the state will not have a different objective but their objective is to Besides the government, their objective is to bargain with the government. Their objective, objective is to influence the government to achieve their goal, to achieve their objective, right? And the last point is, gharao. Gharao means when <clears throat> gharao means this is a different type of different instrument of uh, uh, protest against the government. The gharao means um, if 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 for example, take the example. the student union if the student what the student union do the student union gharao the bc office or the gharao the principal office or the gharao the administrative office what they will do they will close that building they will all the students will be surrounding on that building all the students will be sitting the main gate of that building right which means the administration or the or the system the the so system people will they can't get enter into the office right if they will not get enter into the office they will not they will they would they can't perform their function for the government and they will directly report to the higher authority they uh, the students have a certain demand and we need to look after that demand for example student demand that the hostel fee should be minimized the mess bill should be minimized the mess should, the the students should get ben, subsidies from the mess mess bill or second you can example you can take workers so the trade union in all india there is a trade union the what the trade union will do they will do they will personalize the uh, they will personalize the different uh, uh, different uh, different ministry for example uh, ministry of trade and commerce right if they will grow the ministry of trade and commerce they can't get benefit or like they uh, uh, the, the 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 government people can get entered into the office and they can't work their proper they can't function their uh, proper uh, they can perform their proper uh, function like they can perform their proper work or they can perform the daily work so if they will not perform their daily work then that will directly impact or directly hamper to the uh, to the government so for example take the workers of a factory like the workers of the industry if the workers will not get benefit if the workers will not get the bonus or if the workers will not get uh, uh, their their monthly salary or if the workers should not get the daily wages they will get out of uh, the main gate of the factory they will get out the whole factory the the factory owner can enter the factory um, main the factory higher authority can enter so this type of this type of instrument is like the gharao right the gharao ji the gharao ji instrument through which the Uh, the the what the the leaders or the the authority of a institution the authority of any industry the authority of any set of uh, organizations can enter to the uh, can enter to the uh, to the to the office or can enter to their uh, uh, industry or can enter to their uh, organization and they can't work uh, for the uh, for the for the organizations the once they will not work once they will not function that will directly hamper and Uh, that will directly hamper their activities and the and if they listen to the uh, if they listen to the grievance or the receive to the 
problem of the student, problem of the uh, workers, or problems of the students, or problem of the trade union, then they will and they try to solve it, and they will, then will get benefit. So this is the last point of this uh, pressure group, interest group, and lobby. So in my concluding remarks, I would say I would argue that the pressure group are is one of the most important. element or important instrument in all the political system in the world they they bargain with the government for a better policy they bargain with the government for a better law they will negotiate with the they will influence the system for the better society and that the better society reflect or better society provide a sense of better future to the state to the society to the country or to the world thank you so much about to begin ah uh, thank you sir thank you the way you explain all the thing interest group pressure group and lobbies uh, you have started very nicely with the meaning definition uh, uh, you says that society is just like a mosaic of groups there are different groups in the society uh, and we you, you very nicely explain the way almond express uh, explain the interest group uh, then we come uh, then we discuss about the pressure group Uh, how Maurice Duverger explained. Then uh, the difference between political parties and pre pressure group, where you explain what is a political parties and what are the different pre difference between pressure group and interest group. As we know, uh, the political parties are known as political because they are part of the political system. But the pressure group and interest group, they are not political as they are the part of social system, as we know. And second thing is that. Uh, the political parties contest contest in the election and form their government or or maybe they form a opposition but in case of pressure group or interest group they they, they do not contest in election nor do they participate in the working of the government and and second thing is that uh, they seek political power and such their objective is general the political parties objective is general but here the pressure group and interest group their their objective six specific they have a specific object and second thing is that uh, they are uh, outward uh, oriented and uh, they are formal political parties are formal but uh, but uh, uh, but the pressure group are more secret and they are secretive also known as uh, then we explain the nature of pressure group different natures uh, their nature is different in as comparison to different countries for example india or maybe usa their nature is different then we classify the pressure group uh where, where you explain the classification of almond how he classified the different groups like associational pressure group non associational pressure group institutional pressure group and anomic pressure group a uh, very nicely explain all this type of, of, of pressure group then uh, how morris duverger explain two types of, of classifications of this pressure group then we explain what is lobbies and different different techniques of lobbies because uh, lobbies uh, uh, people uh, sometimes says that lobbies uh, means maybe it is a um, uh, giving a bribe or money to the government but it doesn't mean that, uh, that it doesn't actually giving bribing to the politicians or giving bribe to the politicians because most of the people think that lobbying is the act of bribing politicians most of the student also thinking that lobbying means uh, uh, maybe the political parties taking some money from the people and that is lobbying but it doesn't mean that lobbying means giving the uh, taking the bribing lobbying is the act of uh, act of as trying to influence the politic politicians or public official on a separate issue as you have explained uh, a lobbies means to influence on a separate issue to get their uh, uh, get their dues thank you sir uh, for uh, uh, for your very nice presentation now we will take some question from the learners thank you sir uh, can we sir take some questions yes sir. yes, sir. yes. Uh, the first question mm, just a minute uh, the first question is which are mass party okay mass political mass pressure group right you are yeah, sorry yes. mass okay. political okay the mass pressure groups are the groups uh, basically uh, we can find all over the world right we can find yeah. anywhere in the society we can find anywhere in the world for example take a case of doctors now the days in the in the in the covid 19 pandemic situation now the case 
the doctors of whole world are working right the doctors of india is working the doctors of usa is working the doctors of italy is working the doctors of china is also working for example now if you have or if you have discriminate the role of doctor if you have imposed something bad on a doctor and if the doctor will go for a protest or go for a uh, strike or go for a uh, protest to against the government then it will impact or it will the, they will get the sympathy the doctor community of whole world right that type of pressure group are called the mass pressure group right for example students students are living everywhere in the world students are living in usa students are studying in uh, germany students are studying in china students are studying in india so if if a university is exploited or if a university is discriminated any form on different any form or any any level of uh, discrimination to the student of any country then the student sympathy or the student community of any student community of whole world will stand together for their right for their uh, for their dignity and for their demand so this type of form or this type of association or this type of group is called student or mass group thank you sir uh, the next question is uh, what is the difference between mass and traditional group okay as i have mentioned here the mass are the yes. big group yes like the mass are the big group and the traditional group are the elite group <clears throat> now what is elite group the elite group are the group who who basically uh, who basically are the uh, bureaucrats who basically are the journalists who basically are the uh, big officer or big government officer who retire they are uh, they they, they uh, one day like they all they were they used to also part of systems they used to also part of uh, the political uh, political institution but after their retirement if they uh, if they form a uh, if they form a club or if they form a groups and and they demand a certain uh, and they demand certain thing to the uh, to that particular uh, to to the political systems and that political system is called the also take the uh, uh, as you men uh, yeah, on a different level we generally take the traditional group like the religion group cultural group right the traditional groups are the elite group. right now the traditional groups have a strong influence to uh, to uh, to provide uh, to provide justice or to achieve their goal and objective uh, in the political systems okay next question sir thank you sir in the in the language of uh, um, uh, almond we may says that it is a non associational pressure group the traditional group yes, uh, yeah uh, the non traditional they mainly focus on the religion caste tribe language or culture am i right yes, sir? sir yes sir okay. uh, next next question is what is political lobbying political lobbying is a process for example like right this is this is you can understand in a different way let me put in a Uh, put in this way, political lobbying is like a a pressure group associated with the political party for their own objective, right? For example, as I mentioned in in Uttar Pradesh, if uh, 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 the Bhim Army, so if the Bhim Army is a political party, before they used they used to work as a pressure group, and their objective was. not to use the human in sewage right so that that is that is that is quite political that is quite um, you can say that is quite a political game a political if a political party demand certain thing to a political party that's called that's one type of political lobbying or for example or you can put in a different way for example two political parties there right for example two political party Are doing alliance, right? Here, uh, like uh, like in Maharashtra, there is a uh, two three political party is in an alliance. Uh, 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 Sib Sena, uh, Congress, and NCP. Like all the three political party have hold, they are holding different different position. Like Sib Sena holding Chief Minister position. or congress holding uh, home home uh, so ncp holding home ministry or the congress holding uh, different uh, any other portfolio 
so they are politically lobbying they are politically uh, they are politically um, uh, they are politically uh, bargain with each other for their own benefit uh, uh, you got my point like all three political party are in the same platform in a different same platform to serve the state but they have bargain with each other to get that portfolio they have bargain with each other to get that ministry so this type of lobby is called political lobby yes sir political lobbying uh, is any type of attempt by an individual or a private interest group to influence the decision of government am i right sir yes yes, yes. uh the next question is what is the difference between uh, interest group and public interest group interest group and okay, okay public for example the interest group are the group like they have a certain interest for example i mentioned in the uh, oil corporation company in usa cellular company or cell phone company in india or anywhere in the world they have certain interest like they have a, they have a, uh, they have a interest to achieve they have, uh, uh, they have bargain with the government for example a cell for example a cell phone company try to bargain with the uh, state government or the central government not to not to right not to hike the tax uh, for for gst or for anything so if they achieve that goal then they will they will success or they if they now achieve their goal they will fail but the public interest group public interest groups are like now now the government have a uh, government have a strong advantage to the whole india nobody should come out from home right this is the this is the interest of whole public that public don't form any groups that public don't belong uh, from a uh, from a particular set of uh, organizations or particular set of institutions they are differently they are differently they are differently they are differently associated and they are getting the benefit the government is making a uh, making a particular policy and the all individual and all people of the state are getting benefit out of that this is the public interest policy thank you sir and the next question is um, why do interest group lobby why do interest group lobby why do interest group lobby means uh, uh, why uh, interest group of lobby, lobbying with the political party for yeah, uh, yeah. system yes sir the system right uh, yes sir okay 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 uh, listen uh, <clears throat> press, if 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 the person group would not lobby or if the interest group would not lobby or if any uh, any of group in in india or in any in anywhere in the world would not lobby then society will not be in a position to live right we are we are here there are good policy there are good law there are good system there are good environment to live for the society it's just because the people the groups the lobby groups the pressure groups the interest groups are demand certain policy demand certain law demand certain type of policy certain type of uh, certain type of uh, uh, law through which they can Uh, they can benefit out of that for example for example the farmers if they do not demand for the subsidy or for insurance crop or for any uh, anything which is related to their benefit then think about whole farmers community in india how they are so how they were suffering how they are suffering or how they will, will be suffering In, in in terms of their uh, in terms of their uh, in terms of, in terms of their uh, selling their crops or getting benefit of their uh, uh, crop damage so this type of group is claim or demand to the political system or to the uh, legislator to get a good policy to get a good law to get a good um, system through which they can get benefit not only for farmers but also trade union for example trade union <clears throat> if the trade union will not fight to the government for any tax system or any uh, gst system or anything else now look at the situation of after the implementation of gst the, the trade union they don't even know how they can use the gst right the trade union don't even know 
uh, what is the percentage of state GST or central GST or integrated GST? Hardly any trade union, hardly any businessman um, clearly understand the concept of GST. So if they will not, if they will not fight with the government for any different other good policy, then the society or the people of any state or any country in the world can't be can't be can be develop their life can be uh, good be in a good be good in a uh, society, right? So basically, the pressure group should work. The pressure group should pressurize the government. The pressure group should lobby with the government in a different form, like political alliance or other form, through which the society get benefit. Through which the the people of society, the citizen of society, get uh, will get a benefit. Okay. Next uh, question. Uh, thank you, sir. Can we say that lobbying is a part of law to prevent political corruption and by establishing transparency about possible influence by public lobby, uh, public registers? Yes, absolutely. Uh, until and unless uh -huh. there, there is no transparency, until and unless uh -huh. the, the corruption is like the part, corruption is the part of any political system. Okay. Yes. Nobody can, not in not a single government, not a single country, can say no. We are free of corruption. Every state, every political system, no matter if it is democratic form of government, no matter if it is authoritarian form of government, no matter if it is communitarian form of government, any form of government has strongly associated with the corruption. The people are corrupted, the power are corrupted. So if there is no transparency, if there is no good law, then it is really hard in society to to provide a sense of better uh, living standard to the citizen of a state yes right. we need uh, yes sir we need lobby for poli uh, to prevent political corruption thank yes. you sir uh, the next question is why do government well it is a different uh, type of question sir actually why do government violate human rights i think this is not related to yeah yeah not relevant to yes sir the next thing is uh, how is a sp uh, special issue interest group uh, uh, what do you want to say i'm not actually getting the point how the is that is to interest group? yes yes hmm. um, how the interest group have a, how the how the uh, how the like specific uh, interest group would demand for the uh, for the interest right basically yes. you understand the what is interest group right for example let's discuss the oil corporations of world right now in in the world if a oil if a oil producing company exporting their oil or importing a country to oil from other country, then exporting or importing they have a different they have a, they have a strong or they have a large number of uh, large number of people are uh, large number of people are engaging with them large number of people are associated with the uh, process. For example, there is a dockyard system. There is a uh, there is a there is a tax system, there is a uh, different type of employer empl employed in this process. So if that particular interest groups have not set a particular set of policy or particular set of law, which means that will impact directly the whole process or the whole people of that associate, uh, associate group, associate interest group, right? That will impact the world cause, that will impact the uh, impact the sheep or impact the export country or import the import country so a specific a specific interest group need to be need to be there to raise their voice to raise their uh, problems to the to the whole community to the whole international system through which they can easily solve the problem they can easily transport or export or import the oil 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 or petroleum product to the all over the world Right, get the point. Yes, sir. Uh, the last question is uh, very simple. Uh, are the pressure group and interest group working for more benefits of their group or for the society? Definitely for the society, sir. Uh, no. For, for, for first, uh, they will uh, they will work for that group, right? Yes, yes. Their, the the achievement of that group indirectly impact on the society. Yes, sir. for interest group, right? For interest group, look at the for interest group, they will work for a for that particular group. For if there is Vodafone, Airtel, and BSNL or Idea or yes, any there is any cellular group, cellular company, they 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 are the interest group. They are they are bargain if they are bargain with the government for a 
for a set of taxes, tax taxes on it for a set of tax relief, first they will get the benefit, right? They will get the benefit once they will decline the taxes. When the government will decline the tax, then the citizen or the people of the of the country will get benefit. For instance, if the if they will uh, the government will impose more tax on, uh, for example, uh, 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 Airtel uh, uh, company, then your your talk time or your uh, data using will be high, right? If they will impose low tax, then they will provide to uh, instead of forty they will, instead of forty GB they will provide to forty GB, they will provide to uh, free talk time, they will provide to other different facility to you. So that will indirectly, directly or indirectly, indirectly benefit to the society. You get the point? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, this is the last question, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. On behalf of the Odisha State Open University, I would like to thank you. Uh, the way you articulate all the points, and our student also giving their feedback that uh, such a nice class, an valuable class. Thank you, sir. I uh, hope we will meet very soon, sir. You are taking uh, our uh, another session. Thank you, sir. Happy nice okay. day, sir. Thank you all of you, and stay ho uh, stay in home, stay safe, because the corona is spreading like like you you don't have any words to explain actually. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.